I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. What's wrong, guys? We didn't get a bubble wand in our bubble solution. I guess I'll just throw it away. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. You guys throw out perfectly good bubble solution just because you didn't get a purchased plastic wand? You don't need anything like that. We can make our own. Let's get building. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We'll be making bubble wands. For this, you'll need... Whoa. Whoa. This is an engineering challenge, so any sorts of materials could be used to solve it. The one thing that any bubble wand needs is a closed shape. Let me show you while they're starting to work. A commercially made wand is in the shape of a circle. That allows the bubble solution to stick around all the edges of the shape to form a film. If we cut a hole in the wand, like this one, the film can't form because the solution can't stick to all the sides of the shape. So whatever you use to make your wand, make sure it's a closed shape. So what'd you guys make? I made mine out of wire and cups. This one's shaped like the letter D, and this one's shaped like a cannon. I made three different sizes. I made mine out of pipe cleaners, wires, straws, and popsicle sticks. Well, great, I made some too. Let's go give them a try. But wait, they're not very round. Mine's shaped more like a D. Yeah, and mine are more rectangular than round. Will they still blow round bubbles? Let's go find out. Huh, I guess they do work. Yeah, but how are our bubbles still around, even though our wands aren't? Ah, well that comes down to force of attraction. Bubble film is actually a thin layer of water with a thin layer of soap or a similar substance on either side of the water. Water molecules are very attracted to other water molecules, so the soap helps keep them from bunching up into water droplets. When you blow onto a bubble film, the film is pushed away from the wand, but the force of attraction helps hold the film to the edges of the wand. But as the bubble is blown further and further away, the water in the film continues to be attracted to itself, eventually coming together and trapping the air inside. That's your bubble. The attraction that water has for itself naturally creates a shape with the smallest surface area. That's the amount of shape exposed to the outside. In this case, the shape with the smallest surface area is a sphere that round bubble shape. So no matter what shape your wand is to start, your individual bubbles will always be round. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.